This is amazing, $20 for the pear. Or if you just have a small mouth and don't have a big stomach, just take a little sip and pee it out. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today I'm here at Digger's Antique Mall. Let's head on inside and see what we can find at this antique mall. This is neat. It says it's a hood ornament, $45. It's a big old V. It's cool. I don't know what I would use it for, a hood ornament. I've got lots of glassware when I first walked in, so there's gonna be a lot to look at. That's a really fun set. So this is a child set of dishes. It's in acro agate format, and it's glass. It's like a slag glass for $148, the entire set. Wow. And it has the box and everything. All those nice pastel colors. Oh, here's an old candy container. And they're usually hollow so that you can have like gumballs or different stuff like that in them. And they made them all different kinds of shapes. Well, it's after Christmas, but these darn trees have been so popular. $185 on this one with the snow on there. And then this little green one is 95. That one's 11 inches tall. And the other one is, I'm not sure, it doesn't say. Seven, oh yeah, 17 inches tall. That's a fun lamp. 495, yikes. Has the nice stone in there as well, that marble. Okay, so this is the front room. They have a whole bunch of stuff hanging from the ceiling, lots of lamps and chandeliers. I do remember coming here before, and so there is an entire wing in the back. And I think there's gonna be nice pricing back there. I feel like Pee Wee's enjoying himself a little bit too much on that horse. It's not even going, it's not even motorized. The horse itself is from, oh no, it's $1,900. It's coin operated. And Pee Wee, $75. Mm. They have this really cool case right here. Look at this with the, with the columns. That's really awesome. And it has the curved front. How much do they have? $1,800. But what I noticed is this milk glass in here. Milk glass. We'll see how much they got on the milk glass. Do we have a price? No, we don't. Why not? Maybe it's on the, uh, let's see, that's a November angel. She's $12. Her flowers look pretty good too. Oh, but there's no price on that either. That's a pretty one though. There's this decanter back here. I don't see a price on that either. I don't know. These are fun. These are lithographic printed fans. Oftentimes you'll see them with advertising on the back. This one is a little gift shop, but I've seen many of them that are funeral parlors. This one is 20. And you can see it says made in USA down here. There's a patent number, and there's a little signature too. A little lithographic print out of Cincinnati. That's cool. And it has these like little brads on there, those little grommets. And then, see, they it collapses. I don't really want to do it. You can, you can get the idea. Put it right there. That's a pretty, you're a pretty wood. Yes, and some horses. I don't know. That's a neat horse. Oh, and that's a cow. Oh, what a cool cow. That's Majolica, that plate is. You can tell by the glaze. Wow. I like that. This is $145. Hey, look at that. It's a beach scene. How much for such a thing? 400 Oh my goodness. It's $495. It is oil, but... What's the provenance? Tell me. So this is oil on board. Oh, wait a minute, there's words on the back. Here's what we want, the provenance. To Mrs. and Father. Sent to my folks from Hawaii, June 1944. Wow. I feel like that's kinda high though, $495. But I'm, that's just a secret between you and me. Look at all of these clocks lined up. There's all of these big grandfather clocks and grandmother clocks. So they have some Franciscan ivy in this booth. This one is missing its lid. $35 for this nice casserole. Then there's this gravy boat and then this teapot for $64. 
There's also the Franciscan Desert Rose right here. Jackie Kennedy used this, I've been told. $30 on that one. A little bread plate there for six. Oh, look at the uh, the Johnson Brothers. Pretty sure it's Johnson Brothers. It says England. All right, now we're gonna head on to the back warehouse section. What is this? White silver. Oh, 225 for the coffee tea set. That's neat. Never seen that one before. So we're gonna head back here to this area. Look at the Tanala Farag. That's 12. I don't think that's too bad. And there's this little owl here for $12.50. Mm -hmm. Well, here's one of these crispy cracker tins and this one's in blue and that's really fun. They only have $10 on it. This is a Blue Magic crispy cracker tin with a K, crispy can. And this is out of Connecticut. These are really great and they actually made them in different colors, yellow, blue, red. Blue is a fun one, this shade of blue. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it for $10. It has these magical crystals in top there. Keeps your crackers crispy. That's the idea. If you have a soggy cracker, then you are just not having a great day. So with this can, all your dreams will come true. I found this really nice piece of dragonware here and I like picking up dragonware when I can. This one says Betson's hand painted and it has really nice enameling with the Moriagi, the raised detailing here on this dragon. And this is a nice little cup and saucer. So if you want to use it for tiny drinks, you can otherwise put tiny plants in it. And look at that nice dragon hanging out on that plate. I like how it kind of curves up like that too. And here's the bottom of this one. It says normally China normally so japan did it once again and here we go so it's seven dollars i think i'm gonna go ahead and get it it's really it's really pretty it's kind of like a demi toss cup with the size or a child's teacup or if you just have a small mouth and don't have a big stomach just take a little sip and pee it out that's a cool floral lamp oh my goodness it's 250 dollars has this nice fiberglass shade Look at that. Yeah. And it has this nice black stick. And then it goes down and it pops out of the bottom for us like pew, 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 like coat hanger style. That's nice. $250 for such a thing. As, oh, for a cool lamp. Yeah, boy. All right. Well, we're going to keep looking. Look at that big old thing. You could put a whole body in that. $195. Take apart wardrobe. I feel like a spirit's gonna come jumping out at me. And I don't like it. I don't want spirits in my body. What a beautiful room. I like the wood paneling. It says cow art for $6 and I, I kind of like it. I don't know, something's wrong with me these days because I never thought I'd be looking at cows in a field. Isn't it kind of fun? Don't you want that on your wall? It's kind of that early American style I've been into lately. Don't know why, don't ask me. This canister takes me back. Whenever I first started reselling, this was one of the items I had sold maybe five years or five years ago or so. This is known as the Atterbury Scroll. And this is by Imperial Glass and it has this nice iridescent sort of almost like carnival glass finish on it. They made these in all different colors all and then a few different sizes even but this one is really fun $34.50. I think it was one of those things where I was at an auction and I probably got this for a dollar and so it's good when you can do that but $34.50 for the imperial glass Atterbury scroll. That's really fun. Oh there is a brownie girl pixie elf brownie girl $19.50 it's just her head the rest of her could not make it those vases are pretty with the orange pair of orange for $80 bristol they have written bristol glasses that thinner glass from about 1900 or so oh look at these deer they're $32 for the brass deer and and the wedgwood that's the uteria pattern like that one a lot that's a pretty one and because it's opposite it's white with blue detail rather than blue with white detail as in that one back there it's also kind of glossy these gumball machines are fun 
Oh, so they're all about $120, $125 for the gumballs. For the gumball. This one's $150. Choking hazard. Don't try to swallow this. They have this whole outside area too. Oh boy, it feels nice. So lots of metal, lots of metal and piles. That's cool. Do you want a pile of metals? There's something with wood. Tables, bird baths, planters, wagons, milk bottles, an outdoors baby's bed. Look at all these wood cabinets in here though. That's a lot of drawers. Do you think they're full of anything special? No, not at all. Thought there'd be some unmentionables in there. There's a glass case over here full of stuff. You hear them dogs in the background? Oh, I like this. There's a siren too. Look at that. It's $150 porcelain and bronze. Oh, look at the cats and stuff. Now this is kind of similar to Herond, the way that they did that design, but it's not. Sort of a knockoff Herond. And there's a Linux crystal cat for $10 there. A koala and its little baby koala for $10. It's $95 mesh evening bag. You could use it as a loincloth though. Do you ever feel like that when you wake up? Oh, I love the little sunbonnet in the back. This is a Western electric. Ooh, sounds like a rattlesnake. Rotary phone, $38. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's not, it's automatic electric. It's North Lake, Illinois. That's not a Western electric, I thought it was. Automatic electric, oh, okay. General system. I see this a lot. This is Homer Laughlin and it's known as the Riviera pattern and it's also Fiesta wear. So really pretty blue or that's green. Fiesta. And so it has the H-L-O. See H-L-O? That stands for Homer Laughlin oven wear. They have a lot of Pyrex here actually. This is one of those things that's just kind of blown up over the last five years or so. This is the town and country pattern in the smaller casserole dishes. And here's the larger Cinderella pattern. This is the Crazy Daisy Spring Blossom. That's a fun one. This is in the lighter green too. I like that shade of green more than some of the other shade of green that I've seen. They also have the Amish butter print here in blue. They also made this with a pink print. And this one down here, look at this divided Pyrex dish with the little, they're kind of like black snowflakes, but it's sort of like a compass pattern on that one. And this is just known as Pyrex Verde, whenever they have these leaves like this. And then of course the Butterfly Gold, a very, very popular one. They made Corel dishes that match these. So if you're ever looking to make like a whole set, you can if you'd like, so yeah. Now, down here, this one in the brown is known as the woodland pattern. So they've got it in this darker brown and this lighter brown. And then this one we've got is Shenandoah. Shenandoah is a fun one. And then, of course, this is like that cornflower blue by Corning that's really popular. More town and country. This one with the strawberries is different. I'm not, I'm not really aware of that one. And there's some more cornflower blue down there. There's a couple more patterns here that we don't get to see very often. Blue Horizon or Horizon Blue is a great one with the, has the nice detailing on top there and that really pretty pop of blue on the side. And then this pink one here is nice. This one is lovely and would have had a lid. It's a great little, great little piece. What is that? Slammers and Squire. Okay, these are really cool. I've never seen them before. They are bookends, but they hold your photos at the same time. Look at this, look. And the top pops off and then you could swap out 
if you want, but this is amazing. $20 for the pair. I have never seen that before. So I'm for sure going to get those. They're amazing. Oh my gosh. I might have a hard time selling them and want to keep them myself for real. It's so great. This is a really pretty picture. I like the shape of this one and the color. The like, that's, and it has the pink interior. Look how old that is. Wow. So that's $195. This piece probably dates to about the mid to late 1800s based on the condition and the style and everything. Okay, so I think I did really well here. I found some interesting things. The bookends, honestly, are my favorite find that, I ha that I've gotten a long time. So I, I can't recall seeing those. So I think that'll be a really fun item to look up and, and all of that. So I'm, I'm excited for that one. For now, those dogs are great, aren't they? <laughs> for now, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.